Ahí está. Bueno, here we are. Uh, we're now going out of the palace, climbing out, and with my broken boot, my wife is filming the insurance company. Cuidado. I have a shitload of accidental death and dismemberment insurance, and we're we're now <coughs> coming down the wall over. This is over an audience chamber that's now filled up. You can see the part of it over there. And we're coming out of the palace. Or at least part of the palace. It goes down and how, well now we're in another courtyard. We're going down into a lower part <coughs> of the palace. <laughs> The smoke is now killing me and the mosquitoes. Debe acercar mucho. Sí, espérese. No si no puedo bajar por estar. Yo no sé si el mosquito me va a dar. Pero también es que hay que ir a la policía. So I'm limping along with my one boot. And we're dropping down again. This palace is raised about 30 meters. Off on well, sequential platform. <laughs> We're coming down another level of buried rooms. Um, to the uh, to the actual outside of of the tower. This is what archaeology looks like when it's not reconstructed. Ah. Well, I'm still alive. It's quite nice. One booted foot. Ah, look at that over there. Beautiful. Beautiful tree. Okay, this is why this part here we're not going to restore because I'm not cutting down any big trees. My poor archaeologists are the only ones probably around who have to dig around the roots of some of these trees and often not dig at all where there are big trees. This is one of the best Matapalo forests anywhere. Killer trees, strangler figs. You see these? This is a, a bunch of strangler fig vines. The birds crap the seeds on the leaves. These little vines come down, like you see, like you see here, these little vines you see over there. You see the vines coming down? And then they, over here, back here, you see, they root in the ground and they start being like little trees. All these different vines are from individual vines. They're encircling. If you look inside, you will see the tree. These things are encircling it. They're crushing it. They'll turn it into soil for them to live on, and they'll form a new weird-ass corrugated tree. In serious jungle, tropical forest, everything is eating everything. And, you know, um, had vegetarians here who were freaked out because the plants are eating each other and they're also eating insects and insects are eating other insects. We have lots of snakes that eat other snakes and we have the big cutete lizards like little dinosaurs, you know, they're about that high with a crest and they eat other smaller lizards. And some of the big snakes like the, the Barra Amarilla, which is the Fer de Lance. And the shalpate, which is a slug like, it's, a, it's like a snake that coils up like a slinky, so it can be big and round and fat and ugly. And then it springs and flies through the air to hit its prey. Uh, fortunately, they're really stupid and they miss 
I've seen them hit their heads on trees. Uh, but now, you know, we've been doing this, some of this ecotourism stuff, the Maya have uh, in their programs. And um, so we have these rotulos. And there's fewer snakes because of the sound. But the rainy season's coming. They're all coming up soon. You can see up there, look how beautiful. This is not an ancient stairway. Uh, we put this. It's a, uh, for the tourists, but also a workman's stairway. Actually, 90% of the people, 99, that come here are school children who come for free. And their uncles and friends and spiritual guides are the guides here, and they give them a tour. But this is just for us to get into the royal palace, that part of it, and work. <clears throat> yeah.